unbelievable. It was a dream that I've had since I can remember, since I started, since I picked up a ball. Basketball was my life. You know, I've, I've dedicated every, everything I've done has been for basketball, and I, I can't imagine not playing. March Madness is the pinnacle of collegiate basketball in America. 64 schools vie for the right to call themselves the best in the nation. It's the tournament that DJ Mitchell had dreamt of playing in since he first picked up a ball as a child. The Filipino-American shooting guard from New Jersey plays for the Hartford Hawks. He was on the cusp of achieving that dream last season. The team's bags were packed, the bus was waiting outside, they were ready to head to Vermont for a shot at the America East Championship with the school's first March Madness birth at stake. And then the worst happened. And I just remember Coach Gal walking in and our AD walking in and our coach's wife walking in and, and I could see it in that, their face, you know. Like everything was just getting shut down. Like as we were watching it on TV, we just see America East canceled. I just remember I was tearing up in the locker room and I, I didn't know what to think. I, I just felt like everything, you know, was over. It was a tough break for the second year player who was coming off of knee surgery. Hartford would have to wait a whole year for its chance to shine. And when they got their chance, they were ready. Hartford settled their unfinished business with Vermont in the America East semis, and then wiped out UMass Lowell for the championship, earning them a spot in the NCAA men's basketball tournament for the first time ever. In the first round, Hartford was matched with the number one seeded Baylor University on March 19. For Mitchell, it was a dream come true. A dream that unfortunately lasted less than 20 seconds. 16 seconds after the tip ball, I go for, I, I take the first shot of the game. The first shot in hot part for history, you know, and I come down and I, I roll my ankle and I, I'm out the, the rest of the game. I didn't know what to think. I, I was trying to try to get back up and walk. I couldn't even shoot the free throws. From that point on, Mitchell could only cheer his team on from the sidelines. One of the nation's best long range shooters at over 40% from downtown, Mitchell wonders how things would have gone had he been in the game. All the shots that my team was getting, the entire game were just wide open threes. And of course, the, the, the shooter's not there to play. So it was tough. As he sits back home with a protective boot on his left foot, Mitchell says his only concern for now is healing properly and making sure he won't need surgery. He's overcome injuries and made a division one team as a walk-on. Not even this setback can crush his hoop dreams. That's the advice he shares to others who dream of playing basketball at the highest level as well. Dream big and when you have dreams, protect them because everyone's gonna tell you otherwise. Everyone's gonna doubt you, but you're the only one, you know your truth. And as long as you believe in yourself and believe in your dream, you, you will accomplish it. And I, I think that that's for anything in life, not just sports, but that's just, in, I think that's with everything. Mitchell is even giving thought to taking his career to the Philippines, the homeland of his grandparents, who were raised in Manila. Due to the pandemic, he still has two years left of eligibility remaining at Hartford, but is considering pursuing the Philippine Basketball Association eventually. He knows firsthand how hoops crazy the Philippines can be. Like basketball is everything for me, basketball is everything back in the Philippines also, and I, I actually am aware of the PBI and I have I have given some thought. One thing he isn't sure of is whether he's ready to play ball in a pair of chinellas. At least not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I don't think so. Especially after this ankle injury, I, I gotta protect, protect my feet. <laughs>